Alright, what's up guys? So today we're going to try this new fuel pressure regulator and I don't have a whole lot of time today so this might go into two days but this is what we're going to do. I'm going to start my screen capture and I'm using a mouse for the laptop because when I do the screen capture the clicking on the laptop is very very loud in the video so I'm going to use an external mouse because we're gangster like that. So what I'm going to do now is read the file. I'm going to read the current file. And this is something that I'm trying to work on for myself personally, um, is reading the current file before I start making changes to it. So what I've been doing, and it's kind of bit me in the ass a couple times, is I'll like leave the window open and I'll come back to tune it the next day or do whatever, or I'll just grab the old file and there I'll make changes that I didn't save or something like that. So. I'll start scanning the next day and I'll go in and I'll make a couple changes and write the file and it ends up being completely something completely different. Um, so I'm trying to get better myself at just reading the current file before I start making any changes to it, which is pretty easy. It just takes a little bit of extra time. So usually about four minutes. So we'll wait. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is save that. It opens up into a window and resave the file. So I'm going to save it, invalid file name, huh, what you talking about, what you talking about Willis? Alright so the first thing I'm going to do with this one, you can see up top here the, the file name, I named it uh, 4218, that's the date, uh, slop cam open loop GT45 decap 10 degrees ADE with the fuel pressure regulator, just trying to put as much uh, information in there in the description as I so I know what it is um, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into engine and I'm going to go into fuel general in this flow rate versus KPA so I'm just going to take this thing and go 71.7 across the board this is scaled for manifold vacuum up to 80 KPA this is scaled because I had a non-vacuum referenced fuel pressure system before, or fuel system, fuel rail. So now that it's referenced off of the vacuum, the engine vacuum, um, I'm just going to take this and go 71.7 across the board. And we'll, we'll start there. So now it's basically going to be increasing fuel pressure automatically at the rail as the manifold vacuum is lower. Less vacuum, more fuel. Where before it was adjusting for it in the tune. So that's the first thing I'm going to change and I think we'll just start there. So now I'm just going to write this file and we'll call it good. Give it a start and just see where it ends up. It was at about 11.0 yesterday but now that I hooked the vacuum reference up to the pressure regulator it's going to be reducing the flow rate a little bit so we'll see where it ends up. So maybe we won't. So I just put it in gear and gave it a little bit of gave it a little bit of snot with the foot, and it went to like a, a 910 air fuel and died. So I can't even get it out of the garage right now. So I'm just gonna go in and pull some fuel out, and probably like five or ten percent, and then we'll start from there. All right. So I just use a real time tuning option to watch the wide band and make a make some changes to kind of get me in the ballpark after I'm at operating temp. Um, so I'm going to go in and make those changes to the actual file now. I'm basically just going to pull like 15% out of the whole table and we'll start from there. So I'm going to go into fuel, uh, or actually I'm going to go into airflow, this primary VE table, and I'm going to select the whole table and I'm going to multiply it by, we'll do like 80.83. 
So that'll pull 17% out of the whole table. And that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to put the key in and I'll write this file. And I pulled 15% out before and it got me to like a 13.5 a ish. So we'll start there. Sometimes I gotta unplug. Pretty much every time I gotta unplug and then replug it back in for it to write. So that real-time tuning option is pretty cool and I like it, um, but I wanted to show you guys actually making that, but for some reason when I do the real-time tuning, I lose the wideband on the scanner. I don't know what that's all about yet, but as soon as I click it and it starts doing the real-time scanning, the real-time tuning option opens, the scanner loses the wideband. So I can watch it here, but it won't show it on the scanner, so that's what I was going to show you during the screen capture. But so in here, the fuel pump prime. So that is done writing. So now let's turn the key off, turn back on. So I just did a scan. This was actually the second one that I did. So you can see here that I'm in like between 2 to 7% from target, targeted air fuel. So basically what I just did now, I already did this, but I just took this section, copied this over, go into the editor, and then paste special multiply by percent into here. And I'm doing this just kind of in big sections, big chunks right now to get this thing smoothed out. And and we'll take it for a third drive. know how much of this I'm going to tune or adjust or mess with today because we are in the middle of a season change here in Wisconsin and uh, it hasn't even snowed this much all winter but now that it's spring it decides it wants to have a snowstorm so the weather's not going to stay like this for very long I might make some adjustments a little bit but I'm not really going to be too confident with this the way it is so instead we'll do something else We'll do what that guy's doing. Look at that fucker. He's got the right idea.
きてイエーイIt for this one guys with that snow and stuff I was hoping to actually be able to get on it today but it snowed so hell make sure you unsubscribe don't tell anybody about the video have a good night cheers